Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my Chanel. I've been reunited with my boyfriend. Hola. It's bank holiday this weekend, which means that you get Monday off as well as the weekend. It's Sunday, and we thought, why not go to the National Trust? Because I'm a member. I have been a member for a couple of years. I've hardly used my membership at all. So um, we're, I've got my membership card. I've got my sticker on my car. Gets us free parking. And uh, we're going to head, do a bit of cultural exploration. Oh, that was a mouthful. Cultural exploration. It looks like I'm looking at the camera. I'm not. I'm, I'm looking that way. <laughs> yeah, we basically look around the house. It's called Nostal Park and Priory, or Nostal Priory and Park. Priory. Yeah, we'll just have a little look around, have a coffee, maybe a little bit of cake, and just Ooh. enjoy a sunny, sunny day. I don't know about cake with Florida on the horizon. Well, that's the thing. We've just been talking about. When we go to Florida, we're gonna try and not go mad with the food. We're just gonna try and stay on it. But obviously still relax and enjoy ourselves and have a treat. The thing is, if you do something and afterwards it makes you feel crappy, yeah. is there any point in doing it? This, yeah. is, this is what I'm talking about with booze or even crap food. Because when I eat good food and I eat crap food, it makes me feel yeah. horrible. And I know for me there's a line, like if I have calorie controlled portion of chocolate, like even if it's half a big chocolate bar, but I've accounted for it and everything's fine, that I enjoy. But when it's like binging, which I have an issue with, yeah, you don't feel great, do you? That's because your blood sugar goes and then drops. Yeah. Come out, so. Well, that's what was eye-opening about doing the Zoe test, and I had a glucose sensor on, and just watching my blood sugars spike and crash after eating sugar or carbs and it's not to say that those foods are bad that's not what the app was saying it was, they were like it's natural for your blood sugar to go up and down but if you notice it's a huge spike and a huge crash then there's probably something you're eating that is not quite right for your body in nature whenever you have sugar you have fiber with it fruit has fiber yeah. with it whereas processed mm. stuff just as the sugar and the fiber stops the, the blood sugar spikes so high yeah whereas when it's processed and what goes up guys must come down. Must come down. And that is exactly what the this health plan that I'm doing is all about. It's about eating foods that are good and right for your body because we're all different. And they say that it's like food combinations. So you could eat a bar of chocolate and it could spike. But yeah, if you combine that bar of chocolate with some fiber or some other foods, it might steady it and the, the peak might not be. It's probably all very boring to you, but I find it very interesting. Thank you. Lovely. Step busy. Step busy. It was shut yesterday because they were doing something for the coronation. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Right, we've parked up. I actually don't think I've used my National Trust membership because when I go with mum and dad, I just, I've been with them on their membership, on or Luke's membership. You're so independent, babes. I'm so independent. But this is your first time here as well, isn't it? It's my first time in Nossel Priory. I, yeah. Everybody goes to Nossel Priory, but but not you. Even though <laughs> I worked when I played rugby, we used to train literally around the corner. Yeah. Well, here we are. Yeah. Well, you did, you've never dated a National Trust member before, babe. I know. I'm Such a flex. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we worked out this would have cost about thirty quid. I think it's about twelve, thirteen pounds each to get in, plus Spending five pound parking. It to preserve history. Yeah. Unless you're a member. So I don't know how much membership is, but so far I haven't got value for membership. But yeah, I don't mind because all the profits go towards restoring these houses, maintaining them, and the grounds and everything. So. But it doesn't like oh, oh isn't it English heritage? that owns a lot of the buildings. English Heritage is like National Trust. They're just another company that own a bunch of things. Yeah. But I feel like English Heritage are more ruins. Oh, okay. Whereas okay. National Trust is more like houses. houses. Although National Trust do do like grounds. Do do do. Do do. do. Oh, is that a bookshop? Right, there's the house, lovely. And there's a sign for pizza. It's a very small and pitiful thing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, look, we should have bought the dogs really, but it did say that the dogs aren't allowed in the gardens, but I'm sure. Like it looks like they're allowed on all this field land, but only on the lead. So we took them for a walk earlier, didn't we? Yeah, Fen would have been a nightmare. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Some houses, I don't know if they're National Trust houses, but some houses I've been to with mum and dad, they've let dogs in the home. I think it was Chatsworth. 
or something like that. That is, it was still a private home that was open to the public, but the owner loved dogs so much they were like, "Yeah, dogs can come and look around." And so we took Oscar inside, and Dad was just worrying the whole time that Oscar was going to wee up like some statue or carpet or ornament or curtains. I think we're going to come out here later for some cake and coffee. Thank you. We're just chucking away some rubbish. But it's so nice. from Nostal. Oh, Mr. Bennett, Lucy's, Lucy's ancestor. Look, the first butler was paid £33 per year. And he was paid £70 a year at 100 years well. Oh, the inflation wasn't that much then. <laughs> I also think that me and you should get some portraits of us to put in our home. So if you're interested in how they do a deep clean, this is how. <laughs> This room is undergoing a bit of a maintenance, rolled up all the carpets. So this tapestry room, it says it was nicknamed a withdrawing room. Like the opposite of a drawing room, a withdrawing room. So that guests could retire in here if they'd had enough of socialising. I need a withdrawing room. A withdrawing room? Yeah, a withdrawing room. Rather than a drawing room. Yeah, so clever. I need a library too. Look what we've stumbled across. So we've seen the big red grand staircases, of which there are a couple. And then we were like, the servants must get around somehow, but these must be their stairs. And it leads to the interior because the, the yeah. people walk around the outside. So you can walk through like the state rooms if you're high power, but if you're a servant, you have to go the back way. Yeah, we would have been servants probably, sadly. I'd like to think of myself as royal, but. Right, we've just stopped by the plant shop. We're having a little lunch. We're gonna share a sausage roll. Got a couple of sandwiches and a rhubarb flapjack, which looks incredible. Yeah, Lots of the Americans on the trip to Scotland wanted to try flapjack because they'd never heard of it and they, they, well, they've heard of it from my videos and they liked it. They did like it. Yeah. I mean, what's not to like? I know. Or some butter. Yeah. <laughs> and syrup. <laughs> I think if we were to come in another month or so, this would be gorgeous. Blooming brilliant. Blooming brilliant. So this is the kitchen garden on either side where they grow things for the kitchens. Let's see, there used to be a UK TV show, like the Great British Bake Off, like the Great Pottery Throwdown. It was like the Great British Allotment Challenge or something where oh, they would have God, to grow. It was so good, it was actually really good. And you'd love it because one of the judges was from Yorkshire and he would always use the word sadly, but it would always be like, sadly, it's not quite up to standard. And our catchphrase in our family was always, sadly, which is really fun. I love it when people appropriate my culture, so yeah, I'd, I'd yeah. absolutely love to hear you doing that. Oh, yeah. sadly. Well, you'll hear it when, you know, if my family ever bring up sadly, that's where it's come from. Sadly. <laughs> people making fun of you. Yeah. Oh, we're not making fun of you. We're laughing with you. With you, not at you. Look, potatoes. This is the no dig method. I'm guessing that means they've laid the seeds on top of the soil and then just covered them up right. with like grass cuttings instead of digging it. Really? Yeah. Picasso potatoes. Who knew? Who knew he was a painter and a potato? <laughs> this is cute. Living all Joe's best fantasy. We're gonna walk down here. I'm gonna leave my camera here and we're gonna do a sickeningly disgusting walk. <laughs> Yeah. 
So I've just said to Keegan, I genuinely feel like when he's older, he's going to surprise himself and want to, he'll be getting into gardening and he'll be in the garden. We'll have a big garden by then. He'll be on his knees with a trowel. I won't. And like, yeah, I think you will. Yeah, because you're so adamant that you won't now, I feel like you're going to surprise yourself. Listen, it's always. I'm a big fan of manual labour. I think it keeps you honest. And I like doing stuff around the house. But it's just, it just doesn't tickle my pickle. Yet. Mark my words, guys. You'll have to hang around, won't you? Yeah. Stay tuned. In the next 20 years, he's going to be growing rhubarb. Mark my words. In 20 years. <laughs> well, people are just walking. Yeah, there's a lake over there. Oh, we are walking with gay abandon. Look at these geese over here. Geese. Geese. These are Canadian geese. I love them. It's a lot of poutine. Yeah, a lot of poutine. They do. I wonder why they're here. Are they just here for summer? Are you on your holidays? They're like, leave us alone. So I just bought a couple of books from their second-hand bookshop, The Widow, and one called the Asylum. I'll show you guys later. I don't need any more books, but I couldn't resist. But yeah, I got talking to the man who works in there. We, he was asking me where I'm from and all these things, and then he sounded Southern, so I was like, well, you don't sound Northern, where are you from? And he was like, I'm so insulted. He was like, I'm from Sheffield, uh, which is a Northern city. And I was like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> oh wow, there's even more. This is cool. Have a look. He's patiently waiting for me while I looked at the bookshop. Didn't make any more purchases. What did you get? So I got The Widow, which is about uh, a loving husband or a heartless killer. Yeah. She'd know, wouldn't she? <laughs> Here we are, back at the car. Are you driving, babe? Yeah. Thank you. Shock. <laughs> right, guys, we've been back a while. We've been reading, King's been playing PlayStation, we've had dinner, and now look at us. We're playing a game al fresco because it's warm and it's getting to summer so we might as well be outside I don't think I'll call no keegan's gone teetotal what does that mean i'm not making any promises okay i'll just take it day by day yeah as if i had an alcohol problem i know and as if not making any promises as if i've done this and said you i haven't yes i said i'd divorce him if he doesn't it is now a couple of weeks later, guys. I'm just editing this video. I'm going to Florida tomorrow. I can't believe it. I'm editing this video ready. So actually, I was editing this video so I could post it in a few days, but I think I might just post it tonight. However, get excited because there will be some Florida vlogs coming soon. I'm going with Keegan and the kids. It's our first ever family holiday. It's my first time taking Keegan and the kids to my parents' house in Florida. So I'm really, really excited. So there will be some Florida vlogs coming soon. You might not see them for a couple of weeks because I don't know if I'm gonna edit videos when I'm out there. I'm in two minds. Part of me thinks I'm just gonna film and I'll edit when I'm home. Another part of me knows what I'm like. I love editing, I love YouTube, I love filming. So I might keep working out there, I don't know. However, if you can't already see, I'm quite tired. I, um, I need to catch up on sleep, so maybe I should relax. But anyway, there will be some videos coming soon. I'm also going to be doing some members videos. So if you're a member of my channel, if you're a VIP member or a Health is Wealth member, you will be getting some members videos. But yeah, there'll be some exclusive content um, of me, Keegan and the kids in America for the first time together. So yeah, it's gonna be very, very fun. So stay tuned for that. And if you're not a member and would like to become a member, then you can. And there's a whole backlog of content for you to catch up on, exclusive content that only my members get. So consider becoming a member. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.